In order to measure the current, you have to select the appropriate range on the multimeter. And when you aren't too sure about the value, first of all, select the 10 amperes port. That is, insert the red lead of the multimeter inside the 10 amperes slot. And if the value of the current seems to be under or equal to 200 milliampere, then you can always switch back to the 200 milliampere port. But when you aren't too sure, start with the 10 amperes port. For the 10 amperes port, you just have got one range, which is 10 amperes. And when you switch to 200 milliampere, there are various settings. We'll look at all those in a while. So that's about leads and settings. Next, uh, let's understand how to use the multimeter to actually measure the current in a circuit. So this is going to be a little tricky. To measure the voltage, you just had to connect the probes across a component. But for current, you need to connect the multimeter in series with the circuit. So for example, let's consider one simple circuit. Here I've got an LED, a battery or a power source, and a current limiting resistor. So in order to measure the current, as I said earlier, I'll have to connect the multimeter in series with the circuit. So it doesn't matter where you connect it, but it has to be in series. Now, before I show you the demonstration, let's quickly understand the calculation for current. So according to the Ohm's law, we have I equals to V by R. So we have to subtract LED voltage from the battery voltage and divide it by 220 ohms. And we get approximately 5 milliampere. So here I'm expecting something under 200 milliampere, right? So I'll have to connect the red lead of the multimeter to the 200 milliampere port. Now, generally speaking for breadboard based projects, the value of the current is under 200 milliampere. Now let's have a quick look at the demonstration. For that, we have to connect the multimeter in series with the circuit. So first of all, I'll select the appropriate range. I'll select the highest available range that is of 200 milliampere and I'll lower it down if required for a more accurate reading. Now, since we are expecting around 5 milliampere, I'll lower it down to 20 milliampere as well to show you a more accurate reading. But I'll start off with the highest available range. And I'm going to break the circuit here and I'm going to connect the multimeter in between the LED and the resistor which means I'll touch one probe of the multimeter to the LED and the other one to the resistor. So with that, our multimeter is in series with this circuit. And I'm getting approximately 5 milliampere. Let me just lower down the range. Let's select 20 milliampere to see if that makes any difference. And now I am getting, I'm still getting around 4.97, which is approximately 5 milliampere. So yeah, that's how you can measure the current of a circuit using a multimeter. So like the video, share it and do subscribe to the channel. Oh, and I'd highly recommend you to check this video on how to use a multimeter. I have covered all the basic measurements and it is all covered in a very clear and crisp manner. So highly recommend you to check that out as well. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye world.